What is it like to be the driver of a rover on another planet? I always say, you know, I have one of the coolest jobs in the world. <laughs> it's a lot of fun because you are one of the first people to see the images. You're literally driving in terrain that nobody has ever seen before. And certainly we have never laid tracks on and nothing has driven on before. So it's, it's a lot of fun. It requires a combination of both being able to process information quickly and yet understand the entire rover because it's not just the drive, it's about what else is going on and how that interaction is going to impact the drive. And I particularly really enjoy that. The way we drive is actually in a, uh, in a simulation. So we get these terrain meshes and it creates a 3D model and we have a model of the rover and we generate commands by visually saying, you know, what the waypoints are, what uh, modes of driving we want to do, what parameters we want to change. And that generates the spacecraft command, the commands that are actually going to go to the spacecraft. And then we simulate those. The interesting thing about Mars, and you know, I've been driving on Mar rovers on Mars since like 2008, and you get familiar with the terrain, but uh, there, there are no, features, human features, you know, generally things we're familiar with there. They can be a ridge and there's a drop off and you can't see it or there could be an undulation in the terrain. So it's very different when you look at a flat mono image versus if you look at a stereo image. So when we put on our 3D glasses, um, you, you really are able to get a very quick sense of the terrain. The first time on Mars is really unique because you're testing the rover in its environment for the first time. And we make certain assumptions about every landing site and its interaction with the rover. And those are all that we're thinking about. How is this gonna work out? How is this gonna pan out? Uh, so it was, it's really a special time and it was really exciting to see uh, the first tracks um, because they literally appear out of nowhere because you know it's the landing site. And so you just see these tracks. Uh, so that's a really great image uh, to see.